In this tutorial, we're going to go through the Chameleon Theme homepage and how to get the different elements into your homepage, which you can see here. Now, this, is, this section is your logo image. Here is your navigation bar. And this image here that scrolls is your featured image slider. This is your slogan and sub-slogan. These are your three pages that feature on your home page. And at the moment, here we have them set up as pages. And we, have we have your the from the blog section. Bar. And below that, we have the footer section, which is controlled by widgets. So first, first of all, in order to control what appears on your home page in your chameleon theme, you need to go to appearance and click on theme chameleon theme options and you'll arrive at your e-panel. Click on general settings in the left hand column and then click on the home page tab. This is where you can change most of what appears on the home page of the chameleon theme. Now this is display content areas, make sure that's enabled to show the three, to show these three content pages. Here it's the about us, what I do and who I am. So this box here, display content areas, allows those three boxes to show. If we click disable and then save, go back to our home page and just refresh. You can see that that has now removed those three content sections from the home page. So I'm going to go back, just enable that. This section here displays the media section on your home page, so either click enable or disable to show this multimedia bar here. So I'm just going to refresh, bring those three content areas back. And make sure that whenever you make changes to save and then refresh your home page to check the changes. And there we are. So there's the media bar here. In order for that to show, make sure this is enabled under display media section. Display home page quote. If that's enabled, that will allow this section here with your two quotes to appear on the home page. If you want to remove that section, just click to disable it. These two sections now allow you to change the quotes in the display home page quote. So all you need to do is change the main heading here and the subheading here. Next section, if you'd like to change these three content areas, you can choose which pages from all the pages on your website appear on your home page. So all you need to do is choose which page from the drop down list and that will determine which pages are shown here. You on each page just make sure that you have an image set and that will allow an image to show in each of these sections. Also, we're just going to save those changes. We'll just quickly go over to Pages. And if we go to the About Us page, you can see here that we have the title, which will show, and the text. Now, this line that you can see here is very important. This is called the More option. This doesn't affect how your page actually shows on your uh, website, but what it does is it cuts off, it's almost like a, an interruption of what will show up on your home page. So if we didn't have this more button here, this more line, the whole of the page content would show up in this section here, pushing that all the way down. So by making sure you add the more line in your text you can control what actually shows on your website and it's very simple to do that click where you'd like the 
the text to end and click this option here. This is the insert more tag. So if we click that, it adds that line in and just remember to update your page. And that now controls how much of your page text actually appears on your home page. So if you're getting a whole long list of text, in fact your whole page appearing, that is what the problem is there. You need to go back to your page and insert the more link where you'd like the text to stop. Okay, so the media bar is next. The media bar on your Chameleon homepage theme is this section here. Now this can be um, images and it can also be videos. If you'd like that media bar to show, make sure this is enabled here at the top, then scroll down and here you can control the number of posts that show in the media bar. So here we're going to have, I think, a total of 10. And this is where you can control how many posts actually show in your media bar. You can also, in the exclude categories from media bar, you can exclude, say, the uncategorized category of your blog to make sure none of those posts actually show up. And to do that, just click Save. Now if you'd like a video to show on your media bar, we just go to the post and down in the custom field section you'll already have an image there but you can choose to select a video. Now if the ET setting for videos is not listed here, all you need to do is click enter new and then paste in ET underscore video link and then click on add custom field and then type in the URL in the value box here of your uh, YouTube or Vimeo link and that's the only two video sites you can use with this theme is video is, is Vimeo and YouTube and then click update and that will add a video link to the media bar. So when you click on the image that will actually show up as a video. The next section on the Chameleon homepage theme is the from the blog section. This is controlled by a widget. So we need to go into appearance and click on widgets and then you'll see an area in the right hand called homepage. What you need to do is drag from your available widgets the ET Elegant Themes from the blog widget and then create the title from the blog. Determine how many blog posts you'd like to appear and which category you'd like the blog post to appear from here. Then click Save and that controls how many posts and where the posts come from that appear under the from the blog section. You of course can change this to anything you like uh, but you can only choose from blog categories. Now the last section on your chameleon homepage theme is the footer section and here we have four uh, blocks of text and these are controlled by widgets. And so click on the widgets. So click on appearance and widgets. And you'll see here in the right hand column footer. So click on the arrow to open that up. And you can see here we have the ET custom logo widget, the recent posts, recent comments, and text widget. You can drag any of these available widgets over to the footer section that you like. Uh, the, you can only have four and we've added just these specific widgets in. The ET custom logo widget is this one here and what that does is it puts a nice image up here and allows you to put text underneath. So the logo image that you have should be 109 by 33 pixels and this is the URL 
of where that image sits and that can be uploaded to your media library and just copy the URL from the, the media library to here, put in the text you'd like, save and that adds in your custom logo widget here. Now we're going to add in the recent posts and recent comments and all you need to do is drag over your recent posts widget, put in your title and show the number of and the number of posts you'd like to show. Click save and do the same with the recent comments widget and click save. Now you can see here with the chameleon theme we have a text widget at the end. I'm going to change that to show you how easy it is to change this section. So I'm just going to click this open and I'm going to click delete. And what I might do is I'm going to put a, a list of categories in my footer. So I'm going to drag over categories to here, put a heading, I might call it blog topics, and I might just show the show it as a hierarchy. You don't have to pick any of those if you don't want to, and click save. Go over to our home page, refresh the home page. And you can see here now that the footer section has been changed. I've now got my blog topics. So you can change this footer section easily by widgets. And you just drag over any of the available widgets here, click save, and then go and have a look at your home page. Just remember to refresh it to see the changes. And that's your blog section, that's your footer section sorted out. So that's all the different areas on the elegant themes, uh, chameleon theme and how to make sure that it's all set up properly.